So the hard part with WordPress and with doing kind of regular PHP templates like this and why Timber is so powerful is that once you get into looping through categories or let's say I wanted to show the categories for this post, I could say PHP and it, it might be category list, probably not. Yeah, so we got, that's not real. So when using WordPress like this, you just have to look up every single thing, which is the story of a developer's life, definitely. But sometimes it's a lot of inconsistency in how WordPress gets things, particularly if you wanna print out like a, a set of related posts or something like that. And so using something like Timber makes that accessing of post object information a lot clearer, in my humble opinion. So let's take a look at how before, I mean, to use Timber, we don't necessarily need to get into printing out terms and things like that here. Um, terms referring to kind of a taxonomy or a category that's attached to a specific post. So instead of getting into all of this, we're gonna, we're gonna put in some Timber here. So to use Timber, let's go back to WP Admin. Whoops, not this. Um, and we're going to make sure the Timber plugin is activated. So let's double check, which it is. Okay, excellent. And there's a few different things Timber needs inside of functions.php in order to work. And again, surprise, surprise, these are not things I have memorized at all. So let's go reference a Timber starter theme on GitHub. And we're going to do that with new tab. GitHub, Timber, and I have this in here, but we can just Google it. Starter theme, yay, number one. Okay, so now we're in here. Let's go to look inside functions.php, and we're gonna go through what all of this other stuff is as well. But inside function.php, we essentially here need to instantiate Timber. Okay, and so we're class starter site, extend Timber site, um, and then we have this construct function. So the way a class works, so class starter site is what we are creating. That's our version of Timber. Timber site is what's included in the plugin and starter site is what we have. And we can rename that if you want to. I usually just keep it there. Um, might be nice to rename it. And then first we have this constructor function. And every time you have a class in programming, the idea of a constructor are functions that apply every single time. So it's like run these functions as soon as the class starts. And these functions in here are native to WordPress. So in WordPress, if you were doing a regular theme, you would also add support for post formats and post thumbnails and menus. And these are things you would do all the time. And then this stuff, this add filter, filters refer to overwriting functions that are run throughout WordPress. So here we're, add, we're grabbing timber context, which is something inside the timber plugin. And same here. And these two add actions are little shortcuts to add our post types and our, our custom post types and any custom taxonomies into Timber right when it right when it starts. And we can add our custom post type code and taxonomy code in here. And we're gonna get to that later. Then we have this add to context section. So context is a word to refer to all of the data that is passed to the WordPress template. And when I say that, think of it as like cooking. So if you're cooking, your context would essentially be all of your ingredients. So the store kind of provides you this context. So the context is what you're about to use to make your meal. So our meal is essentially made in our twig templates when we get to that. And what ingredients we have and what context we have is controlled via the PHP template. So when we get in there, you're gonna see this context thing referring or occurring over and over again. So just think of that as shopping for our cooking ingredients. And then once we start putting things in our templates and in our markup, that's as we kind of make our meal. So I am always a big fan of food metaphors. But this context inside of function.php, functions.php is saying, make this stuff available to the entire site. Whereas if we're adding context inside our PHP files, that means make it available to a specific template. And then we have this add to twig, um, which I never use. This is if you, this is where you can add your own functions to twig. Okay, 
Thank you, Laura, right? And then we say new starter site, and that's creating our version of timber site. And this is an example of a small function we might have. This is not useful, obviously. And we will be putting our own in there. So what I'm going to do, instead of writing all this code myself, which I would have no idea how to write this if I was going to, I am going to copy all of it down to new starter site. And then command C, command tab back to sublime, command V. Oh no, why is all of this white? I'll give you a moment to think about that. Oh, well, you're right. The answer is I don't have PHP tags. So we're only gonna have one opening PHP tag because the entire file is PHP. And occasionally, if you have a closing tag like this and some lines at the bottom, because PHP is uh, kind of dumb, it will make that an error for some reason and your site will break and that's not so fun. So I'm probably gonna end this screencast right here and chunk these out a little bit because this was pretty dense so far. So to go over what we did, so right now we have a timber site ready to go. It's happening. So what we did is we made a blank WordPress theme and included the three required files. So actually functions.php might not even be required to have a WordPress theme, but you need style.css and index.php as well. So in index.php, we put in a small loop to print out content from existing posts. And in style.css, we included the, this comment, which lets WordPress know that our theme exists. And then in functions.php, we sniped a whole bunch of code from the timber starter theme because this is not something we need to spend time writing ourselves. Okay, end of screencast, intro to timber from scratch number one. Bye-bye.